Aaron Rohde is one of the best basketball players to ever walk the earth. He is loved by all of his fans. What's your opinion on Aaron Rohde's basketball playing? I don't know, dog. I'm here for the food and the money. Okay, we're firing this one. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting fired. I think that, um, food and money. Go back to being homeless. <laughs> So what? Uh, what do you think of Aaron Rohde? Aaron Rohde? Isn't isn't that that song that what's his face? What's his face? Set a boy. Set a boy. Uh, you are my Rod Stewart. I get Rod Stewart. I love that song. Break it down, Grandma. Grandma, you forgot your meds. <laughs> Aaron also receives a lot of support from some of his family. Aaron. Aaron. The baller. The baller. You ballin' or you ballin'? He ballin'. But that wasn't always the case. You know, I didn't have much of a father growing up. I think I, when I was born, neither of my parents showed up to my actual birth. I was <laughs> <laughs> My parents were never there for me. I had to raise four kids all on my own. Basketball is the only way I was able to pay for all of it. My we asked some of the people in Aaron's career about their thoughts on him, and the results were quite remarkable. Oh. Aaron Rohde, one of the greatest basketball players I've ever met. Got him straight out of high school, was a baller. Just like Larry Bird, but a little smaller. But I, I say he'd be better than Larry Bird if he gets in the weight room and plays a little bit more. I feel like he'd be a dominant player in the league, and that's why he's starting on the Indiana Pacers. That's all I got to say. Go. All right. So, oh man, I love this guy. Uh, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Rando. <laughs> Man, this dude is making me so much money. I love this guy. How, how tall is he? That stands five foot two. My, 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 uh, he ain't the tallest of the guy, kind of guy, but man, man, he's a good guy. Especially whenever he played baseball. <laughs> he played that baseball for me in 86, I think. Is oh, oh, no, that was wrong. Okay, um, are you talking about Pete Rose? Yeah. Let's see, what guy was his? Oh, the basketball player. Yeah, best basketball player I ever did, did anything with. Man, this dude, this dude can play. All right, so my boy Aaron, this is me, Black A. Man, I really just love Aaron, really good. One of the greatest point guards I've ever met. I've been in the league for eight years. I know I've only been on pace for two. But me, Black A, I love Aaron. And the coach, we just love each other. And sometimes we just hang out at my house, play some 2K. Because me, Black A, I'm the best Black A in 2K, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, Aaron... Um, his manager's kind of weird. Don't tell him I said that, but he's kind of weird. 
Um, Aaron, he's a great guy. Um, yeah, just one of my one of my favorite teams, except for LeBron. LeBron's a good one. But anyway, I think I think Aaron's gonna be steal the show from LeBron whenever he turns forty. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about um, Aaron. Block A out. Sir, we're recording. Oh, I... we're recording, sir. Oh, sorry, dog. Oh, all right, man. So, so I've been on the team. I I was on the team before Aaron was, and I remember whenever he first came on the team. And dog, that's the best ba basketball player I've ever seen. I mean, dog just dog just is the best. He's just so amazing, and he has such respect for all of his. Uh, teammates and his coach and everything. I mean, we won, got won every single game of this season, and we're not even done yet, dog. So, if you ask me, that slice has got some talent, and he's got a lot of potential, man. All right, guys, I'm the bench warmer on the team. Aaron's a really good guy. The coach is kind of stinky, not gonna lie. But you know, being the bench warmer, I still get to talk with Aaron. He's a really cool guy. I heard him talking to the coach. Maybe playing me next game. I don't know if it's going to happen because Black A is always taking my spot. Don't tell him I said this, but we're going to run it up in the bathroom. Really been trying to talk to Aaron lately, but he's always got that thing going on, you know. There's something going on, man. Anytime I try to talk to him, it's one thing or the other, I swear. He's either got his girlfriend, his car to work on, Heck, one time he told me he was gonna milk the cat! Now, does Aaron know your name? No. But he will tonight. Just tonight the game? Yeah. Though with filming, the coaching heard about what the bench warmer said, and he got in trouble. The bench warmer started to blame Aaron and spread false rumors about him. This got Aaron some publicity he didn't need. So. That bench warmer, heard him, I heard what he said, and I know Aaron told me, said, hey, yo, you should start that bench warmer. Now, I was, I was, until he started talking crap about me, so I'm going to have Block A still keep his spot, which that bench warmer, I might cut him, but I know he's doing it for the money and feeding his family. I don't care if you have a family of seven. You're getting cut if you're a bad basketball player. I heard the coach talk about dropping me. Honestly, do it. I'm not getting the job. This basketball team sucks. We haven't won one game this year. And that's what the coach did. We've got the chance to ask Aaron himself some things about basketball. I love the Pacers. I've been trying. Working so hard for this dream. What did my manager say? Not my manager. What did my coach say about me? Did he say I was shorter than Larry Bird? No. <laughs> <laughs> he said you were amazing. Oh, I love that coach. I've been working with him for four years now. Picked me up right out of high school. He was, he was scouting me when I was a sophomore. He was like, that young boy's got some potential. And he rubbed his hands and smacked his lips a little like, and then I was started on the Indiana Pacers. Well, <laughs> I think the best part about being a Pacer is probably starting and being me. Yeah. I think that basketball has changed my life in such a way. I love my coach, Coach Randall. I've been with him so long. My teammates, I have this favorite teammate, Blocker. Don't get it wrong, please. He gets very angry about that part. I love him. He's been uh, on my team with me for about two years now, transferred summer of 09. So, love that guy. I love my siblings. We got little Jeruso. We got little Jaquavion. We got Andy. And we got Bruno. I love all four of those guys. They're my pride and joy. When I went to go to my graduation, uh, I don't know where my parents are. <laughs> well, we appreciate talking to you. Thank you. We also talked to some people from Aaron's past. 
Yeah, I taught uh, Aaron back in the sixth grade. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty obvious right away that he just was not going to be successful on the bass clarinet. So uh, I kind of had to scooch him out of that program. You do know that he's like a major league basketball player now. What now? So I taught Aaron how to play basketball in his high school days. Now I'm bound to this chair for life. <laughs> I can't move my legs. But anyway, I taught him how to run back when my legs worked. I taught him how to throw that ball in the hoop, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, the Vietnam flashbacks keep coming back. They won't stop. Help me. Anyway, Aaron. Yep, that's what we're talking about. Aaron, yep. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Aaron. He was the, he was the, um, the tall fella, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, he made it to the major leagues with LeBronny James or Michael Jordan or something like that. Anyway, they call him Larry Bird. That's where I, that's what I call him. But, you know, anyway, Aaron was a, Really good uh, baseball, basketball player, I mean. Um, that's about it. So, yeah. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I needed orange juice. Thank you. More! Making bets. I'm sorry, what? You know, Vietnam wasn't too good to me. Um, Lake Texoma. Um, I love to fish laying Lake Texoma on my boat. Hmm, what? Oh, we're still recording. <laughs> um, bacon bits. It is easy to say Aaron has changed the sport and his legacy will live on forever.